Synthetic fuel can replace gasoline. Now I have mentioned replacements for fuels that can be used in place of gasoline in the past. And if you haven't heard of e-fuels or e-gas or synthetic gasoline, they are here. And what are these synthetic fuels and how do they work? And most importantly, can they really save internal combustion engines and still allow most of us to keep our vehicles we have with no expensive modifications? Yes. This is a solid option that will work and be good for the environment as well as your pocketbook. We can thank the engineers from Porsche and Volkswagen Group for working diligently on this new fuel. This will benefit most vehicles and not just the sports cars in the world. Scientifically speaking, synthetic fuels are artificially produced alternatives to conventional gasoline or diesel. In its simplest form, a synthetic fuel is made by combining hydrogen and carbon atoms to create a compound called alkene, usually it's called ethene, which contains two carbon atoms and four hydrogen atoms. Okay, that's really, really deep. But what does this really mean to you? Porsche has invested millions in production of e-fuels and Formula One and its sponsor Saudi oil giant Aramco are working together to create zero emission, low carbon fuels that can be used in not just Formula One race cars in the next few years. Aramco and Spanish energy firm Repsol are constructing an enormous synthetic fuel factory in Spain to create carbon neutral gasoline alternatives. And Shell, the Dutch fuel giant, has been working on synthetic alternatives for today's jet fuel. This is good news. And there is more proof that synthetic fuel can be used in high revving engines because of this. But even Amazon just signed a deal with a company called Infinium to supply low carbon fuel for its delivery trucks starting next year. Now they call it e-fuels or electrofuels, but Amazon says it will replace diesel fuel and will start using it in the Southern California area where its fleets go about 5 million miles of driving in a year. Now that is proof of concept. There's much more on the subject, but first I wanna remind you to subscribe and click that little bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. We give you more than car reviews and first looks of new vehicles, we give you car smarts because knowledge is power. The ultra low carbon fuels can be easily used to power cargo vans, airplanes, marine freight without any engine modifications. That's the most important part. The production of electro fuels will be in Texas and the Texas location will use renewable power generated green hydrogen and approximately 18,000 tons of recycled carbon waste per year to create these electrofuels. And they have been developing this technology for the better part of a decade. And we expect electrofuels to reduce greenhouse gases and emissions by approximately 95% over traditional fossil fuels. This is a smart solution and a better option for most drivers. In addition, Porsche has invested in the development of industrial e-fuel production facilities in Chile, USA, and Australia. And the production with partners includes Siemens Energy and ExxonMobil to produce e-fuels from hydrogen and carbon dioxide using wind energy. These electricity-based synthetic fuels enable nearly CO2 neutral operation on combustion engines. And Porsche has been the pioneer in researching for this renewable fuel for some time. Testing in a laboratory and then on the racetrack has been very successful. And the sports car manufacturer plans to use e-fuels in motorsports and in the future, it also plans to use them for combustion engines. Now, how does this affect you? Well, there is more than a billion existing vehicles worldwide that will be on the roads for decades to come. E-fuels are an effective solution to use less fossil fuels. They can enable all vehicles to play a role in reducing carbon dioxide, regardless of the powertrain type. Combustion engines can be powered with e-fuels in a virtually carbon neutral manner. They don't have to be converted or retrofitted for it, which I really appreciate. And e-fuels can be offered as a mixture or alone at all filling stations. And this offers an option to the owners of existing vehicles and e-fuels are also cleaner for combustion engines. So now the big question, what will e-gas or e-fuel cost? Well, we don't have the exact numbers obviously because it's not available today, but if produced on an industrial scale, prices could be less than $2 per gallon. That would be fabulous. And the important thing is that synthetic fuels are produced sustainably and in places in the world 
where renewable energy is abundant. E-fuels produced from water and the carbon dioxide extracted from the air for automobiles, planes, ships have advantages over pure hydrogen that can be easily transported more easily. Production will start in 2022 and ramp up from there. We should see them pretty readily available across the world by 2026. There are other companies working on alternatives so we can keep our vehicles and not have to switch to a full electric vehicle. And in Scandinavia, a company called Quantifuel has been pioneering a process that turns plastic waste into brand new products, including synthetic fuel. Their Norwegian company hopes to transform 19,000 metric tons of waste plastic into 15 million liters of low carbon diesel and other synthetic oil products each year. What's more, the process of turning waste plastic into fuel emits 90% less CO2 compared to traditional fuel production. Now, there's some more exciting news that's coming soon as hydrogen will be fueling combustion engines from brands like Toyota, Hyundai, and BMW, and there are many others that are coming. I'll report on that in the near future, and there is so much more to discuss on this. Put your comments below and let's start the conversation. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any questions or comments, I'll be happy to answer them. You can support me by buying me a cup of coffee. The link is down in the description below, plus all the links for our website, social media, book and podcast. Thank you so much for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.